What's going on guys, Gomers here, and we're back on another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty video. The season's over, and content is dwindling down, but we still have one big gargancho drop coming uh, in like a week plus, like a week and a half. Uh, finest, of course, Team Affinity Season 5, which is uh, confirmed. I mean, come on, it's obvious that it's going to be uh, Season 5 Team Affinity, and we're going to go through some predictions for every single team, uh, you know, a bit tougher for teams like the Tigers, but, uh, you, you know, we found a candidate, we found an eligible bachelor, I would like to think, so uh, leave a like, let me know in the comment section down below, who do you think is going to get Finest Cards, who would be good uh, for a Finest Card in TA5, and uh, subscribe if you guys are new as well, and uh, check out yesterday two days ago's video, uh, adding some MLB content to the channel as well. Excited for that. And uh, essentially, let's go on and get real dirty with this one. Starting out with, well, a, a dirty team, the Baltimore Orioles, which is kind of tough. One would think John Means. Of course, Cedric Mullins was the best, um, but we'll run into this uh, conundrum a few times right here, uh, where Cedric Mullins has a 98 overall, and he's their Team Affinity 4 card. Uh, team Affinity 3 card. Are, are they going to give him TA5? Uh, I hope so. Um, I think it would be really good to see a 99 Mullins, because he had a killer season, but John Means is going to be my pick. Now, again, remember, each team is guaranteed to get at least one, and... I'm assuming we're going to get ones in the packs as well. Like last year, we got 15, 20 in packs. Um, not 99s, but all TA5 uh, finest cards will be 99 overalls for the Red Sox. Um, the postseason teams are fucking tough uh, because, you know, uh, most guys here got one. Sale didn't, but I, why would he? You know, he pitched, what, like eight games? Um, so my pick is going to be Xander Bogarts. He had that all-star game card which was really good. Imagine making a 99 overall variation. That would be quite cool. Uh, Hunter Renfro, again, another possibility. Um, unfortunately, uh, as it is that he couldn't do that shit for the Rays. For the Yankees, uh, probably Garrett Cole uh, would be the pick right here. Judge and Stanton already have better cards. Um, Garrett Cole, uh, hell of a season. Uh, a lot of people would make you think otherwise, but he still was good. Sure, he got, you know, brutally beaten down by uh, Kike and the uh, Boston Red Sox to the wild card, but it's a regular season finest award, not postseason. Uh, speaking of the Rays, because they sure is, well, you know, they're a couple good postseason performers, but uh, hopefully Brendan Lau would be the pick right here. His cards are always great, has a fantastic swing, plays pretty good defense, and somehow didn't even get nominated for a silver slugger, yet DJ LeMayhew did. Wow, and they say there's no, they say chivalry's dead. They say there's no bias in baseball. And for the Blue Jays, recording this a second time, Marcus Simeon. I said Bo Bichette the first time. I think they both get cards, but Simeon was better. Uh, you know, fantastic season, hit 45 home runs uh, on the season was truly good. Interested to see where he is going to go in free agency. And then Bo Bichette uh, should be worthy of one as well. Put together a Six war season, uh, as I checked on baseball reference. Uh, for the White Sox, again, a tough team because, like, Robert has a 98, Grandal has a 97, uh, Kimbrel has a better card, uh, Carlos Rodon was TA3, so who's gonna get it? Abreu uh, has a postseason card, I think Lance Lynn, and maybe see what else you figure you want to do. I mean, hell, Tim Anderson also is a 99, so. Uh, we'll see. Maybe Liam Hendricks will get an upgrade. For the uh, Guardians, in a couple months, they'll be known as. I'm going to say Jose Ramirez, mainly because I just want a better Jose Ramirez card. The All-Star game card was mid. And uh, hopefully Emmanuel Classe with that uh, outlier on the cutter. That would be a nice card to see as well. Uh, moving on to the Tigers. You know, a bit of a joke. Uh, a bit of a joke there at the beginning. Uh, they weren't quite as, they were like 18 plus wins better than like the Oreos or the Diamondbacks, but uh, my pick would either be Casey Mize or uh, Heimer Candelario, who for some reason is only a 75. Had a good season, you know, pretty good defender, um, good hitter. He, he was required last year, switch hitter, typically quite good in DD. Uh, so type, yeah, you know, whatever. Salvador Press, if you've been yearning for another high diamond Salvi card, um, Fear no more, because he shall be getting another. Uh, we're going to add the 
Next, Infinity Ring into the Gauntlet. We have the 95, the 97. It is time for the 99, baby! A uh, clear pick for their finest. Jorge Polanco would seem to be the one for the Twins because he was their only good player that played more than 61 games. I would love if they gave Buxton another card, but it doesn't really make sense. But they should is the thing I'm getting at here. Kyle Tucker probably is going to be the Houston one, either him or Correa. I think they're both going to get cards because uh, Correa... Uh, only got a 96 as his highest, and uh, Yuli Gurriel might get one as well, the, the AL and batting average, so, um, <laughs> you know, definitely deserving of a card there. Uh, for the Angels, Rysel Glacy seems like the obvious choice, uh, it was one of the best uh, closers in the 2021 season. Uh, again, curious to see where he's going to end up. Only 31. You know, one could say if the Angels are just going to win 75 games a year while not adding anything to the rotation, uh, why would they keep a top-tier closer? Uh, I don't think they'll do another Otani, a position player Otani, uh, but who knows? Uh, they've surprised me before. I would like to see another Otani. Why not? Uh, for the A's, I'm thinking Starling Marte. I really want to see a good card of him. Uh, maybe with like 90 speed for some reason, even though uh, he's better base dealer than he is fast at 32, 33 years old now. But had a hell of a season. And then uh, Chris uh, Bassett, or Bossett as well, uh, was quite good. Sinker cutter combo it would be really nice to see a juiced up version of him. Uh, maybe Matt Olson, who knows? Maybe... Maybe Jan Gomer is going to get a card. Time will tell. For the Mariners, probably Mitch Hanniger. Hell of a season coming off a uh, multitude of injuries the last couple. And uh, would be cool to see an upgraded version of him with competent uh, fielding. That would be interesting. Uh, Kiner Falefa is probably going to be the choice for the Rangers, seeing as uh, Adolis Garcia already got a card for the All-Star game. Is it going to be good? No, but hey, they got to get some cards, huh? Um, for the Braves, they have a couple big choices, that of which being Freddie Freeman, uh, who hasn't gotten an upgraded card, and uh, he should be pretty good, always love his swing as a lefty bat, and then of course, uh, Austin Riley, who they hate. SDS has some kind of gripe with Austin Riley because he just does not get cards. He had a great season, like a 6 war season, got no upgrades, and he's an 81 overall. He's actually a good defender too, but his 60 fielding would say otherwise. You know, I guess the SDS devs do know more than advanced analytics, so uh, that's good to know that they know something that we don't. Uh, a little passionate about that. I, not a Braves fan, but... I like the Braves. Happy they won the World Series. Marlins. Alcantara is probably going to be their pick here. Throws a real hot sinker and a real hot fastball. Uh, so that should be a good card. Wow, he has three quirks. Okay. Uh, again, uh, it talked about it in my wish list video. Make more quirks, SDS. Like, differentiate these cards, please. And then Pablo Lopez, probably deserving of one, too. Will he get it? Probably not. Um, for the Mets. I'm thinking likely Marcus Stroman, sinker cutter combo again, only issue he does not throw hard at all, um, which isn't the end all be all, but would be preferred, uh, but he had a good season of course. Nemo, maybe. Pete Alonso already has a better card. Uh, you know, may maybe finest Lindor, huh? Uh, surely he would be deserving of that one. Zach Wheeler seems clearly like he would be the one for the Phillies here since Harper already has the 99 overall card. Uh, but Gene Segura honestly should get a card as well. He had a really good season this year. Uh, Juan Soto, don't even have to say much else. One, because he's a uh, you know, top two MVP candidate at the NL. And then he also plays for the fucking Nationals. So who else would get it? And for the Cubs, good lord. Uh, also very, very many candidates here for this finest card for TA5. But uh, realistically, Patrick Wisdom or Contreras, it's not really down to one. I would be cool with either of these. The contact's probably going to be low on Patrick Wisdom, but I don't know how good a Wilson Contreras card could realistically even be. Uh, so who knows? Flip a coin for that one for all I care. For the Reds, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, that, that sounded a little much. My apologies, Cubs fans. I was at a game this year, but y'all lost to the Marlins. Adam Duvall hit two home runs. And then the Braves traded uh, for him like two McChickens and a bag of baseballs. And he was great in the World Series. What do you know? Uh, for the Reds, probably Jesse Winker it would be my pick. Uh, Votto and Castellanos already have better cards. So not sure how good that card's going to be since it's going to be very platoon oriented. For the Brewers, tons of options because they didn't get a whole lot of love this year. 
Uh, Corbin Burns is either going to win the Cy Young or be damn close to. Uh, his FIP was wild. It was under two. Um, so he hasn't got a better card. Brandon Woodruff hasn't got a better card. Um, Peralta has the 99 hater. Did get a better card, so why even bring that up, Gomer, I guess. Willie Adamas, give him a card, SDS. Good lord, he's in the same camp as Austin Riley. You guys hate him for some reason. He was really good this year for the Brewers. Not so much for the Rays as, as a player would be. Even Colton Wong could deserve one. Even Alveso Garcia, tons of options for the Brewers. Uh, for the Pirates, obviously, Brian Reynolds, my boy. Um, the card should be pretty good. His, uh, not team affinity, his... Uh, POTM was quite interesting. Really high contact. If they give him, like, max contact, mid-70 speed, diamond defense, and, like, good power, 185 per... That card is gonna be a bench bat. Boy, do I tell you. Uh, for the Cardinals, of course, a lot of, a lot of guys already got upgrades. Paul Goldschmidt seems like the pretty clear candidate here. Really good year um, for them, of course. But also, Harrison Bader should be in line for an upgrade and uh yeah just those two for the d-backs again uh, don't really care i would love it to be Cattel Marte. otherwise keep it just put out 29 cards nobody else deserves one on that team for the rocky cj crone uh this card should be pretty interesting had a really good season really good spurt didn't get potm which angered and raged uh Decent portion of players, but Crone finest card should be pretty good. Of course, who the hell else would get it on this team for the Dodgers? Uh, a lot of their guys already got upgrades. If you think about like Scherzer, he has a better card. Uh, I think it's gonna be Muncy pretty clearly for their top card, which I'm very excited for. Love a swing as good defense at second base, um, which you can put him at, which you know would be a preference. And if they give him good contact. This card's going to be real nice. Walker Bueller, also a chance. Trey Turner would love to see a better card of him, if that's even possible. Uh, which he deserves it. Had a hell of a year. Uh, who knows? Man, Trevor Bauer might get a find this card. Uh, well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, for the Padres here, uh, Tatis, I would think maybe we'll get like a card from last year uh like a silver slugger or a cover card uh but he hasn't gotten a good one yet then i mean this team fell apart who else would get it joe musgrove probably deserves one i would say maybe jake cronenworth i know he got one last year as well uh then for the giants full circle i think they might give it to buster posey him and brandon crawford probably should both get them uh we'll see they no, they'll probably release a player program for Buster Posey, being as he retired. Hell of a year. Is a Hall of Famer, by the way, in case you guys thought otherwise. You are incorrect. That is not an opinion, much less a fact. Uh, so Buster Posey, maybe, but Brandon Crawford somehow had a really good season. Uh, card could be decent, actually. So uh, that's going to wrap it up. Those are my finest predictions for the 2021 Major League Baseball season. Uh, no copyright intended. Um, pretty excited, actually, for TA5. Hopefully, we're going to get a lot of interesting cards. Um, they should have quirks. And if you put a lot of good quirks on them, they're going to be very comparable to, you know, even what we thought would be like an end game Willie Mays. Would it be, like, obviously better? No. But it could definitely be a card you could use instead. So, if they put tons of quirks on them, load them up and make them real comparable cards... Uh, this could be a hell of a TA5 program that we're going to get on the 19th. Let me know in the comment section what you all think. Leave a like if you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you all for watching. There you guys comes out. Yeet.